tired. I think I'll go home now. Hey folks, so I just read and I will post the um, the link, well not really a link, it's a screenshot of this so-called cyber attack that was done on the U.S. government. Y'all, <clears throat> see our constitution states that we can't just go out and declare war. It has to be defensive. And NATO needs this war very bad. So I believe that they're going to go through great lengths to say it was Russia or China or whoever so they can get into a war, an unnecessary war, which in return the U.S. will meet its demise and most of our dreams will be coming to light, you know, with the destruction of the United States physically. And y'all, the attacks have been ramping up. You know, a lot of uh, <clears throat> people inside the church, all they do is fight, argue, debate, call you names, etc. You know, one thing I can say, um, I'll try to say this as nicely as I can. I don't want to seem, you know, like rude or anything, but post-tribbers are the most mean people inside of the church. The, the meanest. And the most miserable, it seems like, because that's all they do is they, they try to fight with you. One thing I will say for sure, I've never commented on a post-tribber's videos or posts or anything, and, and they always their videos are nothing but stocking up on things and, and stuff like that, so that being said, in all honesty, I've never, now if I'm wrong, please someone show me that I'm wrong, but I've never seen a post-tripper bring anyone to Christ, or even spread the gospel at all. It's always stocking up, or bashing this person, or believing in the rapture, or this person, or this person. You know, as if, you know, someone believing in a pre-tribulation rapture, which is scriptural, I mean, it's I have the Bible right next to me. I read it every day. I'm... Anyways, <clears throat> it's like they, like us believing that, affects them in their life. Well, see, what they do on their videos and their posts or anything like that, I really don't care because it doesn't affect me in my walk. So I don't want to go argue with somebody. I don't feel the urge to do that because if someone's truly in Christ, they're going to know the truth. That being said, I want to read y'all something. This is in uh, 1 Corinthians 12. And I'll start with verse 12. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been made all, excuse me, have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? Y'all want to say this, and I don't want to sound too harsh, but many of you would make up the butthole of the body, even though that's part of the body. I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to be the butthole. And I really don't try to sound crude by saying that, but someone had to say it. That being said, keep looking up, church. Jesus is coming so very soon, sooner than any of us realize. Keep looking up. Romans 10, 9 through 13. I love all of you, and God bless. But if you want to be raptured, you must be born again. You must be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Don't close your eyes, stay up. There's power in the name, in the name of Jesus. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him.
For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved.